Broome Castle is a medieval building about two miles southeast of Penrith, Cumbria, in England. The castle was founded by Robert de Vupont in the early 13th century. The site near the confluence of the rivers, Emont and Lowther, had been chosen by the Romans for a Roman fort. Its strategic location reflects its historical importance in controlling river crossings and trade routes. The castle, along with the fort, is a scheduled monument and in its earliest form consisted of a stone key with an enclosure protected by an earthen bank and a wooden palisade. When the castle was built, Robert de Vupont was one of the only lords in the region who were loyal to King John. The Viewponts were a powerful landowning family in northwest England who also owned the castles of Appleby and Brough. In 1264, Robert de Viewpoint's grandson, also named Robert, was declared a traitor and his property was confiscated by Henry III. Broome Castle and the other estates were eventually returned to the Viewpoint family and stayed in their possession until 1269 when the estates passed to the Clifford family through marriage. With the outbreak of Wars of the Scottish Independence in 1296, Bruin became an important military base for Robert Clifford, the first Baron de Clifford. He began re-fortifying the castle, the wooden outer defences were replaced with stronger, more impressive stone walls and a large stone gatehouse was added. The importance of Bruin and Robert Clifford was such that in 1300 he hosted King Edward I of England. Robert's son, Roger Clifford, was executed as a traitor in 1322 and his family estates passed into the possession of King Edward II of England, although they were returned once his son, Edward III, became king. The region was often at risk from the Scots and in 1388 the castle was captured and sacked. Following this, the Cliffords began spending more time at their other castles, particularly Skipton Castle in Yorkshire. Bruin descended through several generations of Cliffords, intermittently serving as a residence. However, by 1592 it was in a state of disrepair, as George Clifford, the third Earl of Cumberland, was spending more time in southern England due to his role as Queen's champion. The castle was briefly restored in the early 17th century to such an extent that King James I of England was entertained there in 1617. In 1643, Lady Anne Clifford inherited the estates including the castle of Brougham, Appleby and Brough. 
Anne was a key figure in the castle's renovation, investing considerable time, effort and resources in its restoration and improvement. A Latin inscription on the castle commemorates her contributions. Brougham Castle played a role in the English Civil War between 1642 and 1651 and was initially held by the Royalists, but was later captured and partially dismantled by the parliamentary forces. Although Lady Anne kept the castle in good order and it was maintained for a while after her death in 1676, it became too costly to sustain. Thomas Tufton, the 6th Earl of Thanet, who had inherited the Clifford Estates, sold its furnishings in 1714 and left the empty shell to decay. As a ruin, Broom Castle inspired a painting by Turner and was mentioned at the start of the Wordsworth poem, The Prelude, in addition to other works by the famous writer. The castle was eventually left to the Ministry of Works in the 1930s and today is a popular tourist attraction. Visitors can explore its relatively well-preserved ruins, climb the keep for its scenic views and learn about its history through informative displays. Broome Castle is set amidst picturesque landscapes, provides visitors with a glimpse of medieval history against the backdrop of natural beauty.